Whoa! Welcome! This video is about how to clean a PlayStation controller, although the tips I'm giving can be used for any old console controller, or just one without a console, if that ever happened to exist. Uh, it's a five-step, very easy process. This video is chock full of information, so let's get into it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why would anyone want to clean an old PlayStation controller, you may ask me? Here's why. Boom. You're going to see this. Uh, because we are selling them. This one right here in very good condition, primed, uh, is going for $15.09. You can even see the disparity here. It's going for $12 in good condition. Likewise, on eBay, we are seeing these controllers go for, hmm, uh, I know for sure one went for $4.49 the other day. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Yeah, right here. $4.49, good condition, whatever. Uh, by only marketing it as in good condition and not as in very good or like new condition, uh, you know, cleaned, disinfected, uh, all the dead skin removed, they're missing out on like $15. I've sold this exact controller for $19.95, all because I said it was disinfected. Uh, and keep in mind, that was not when there were no other, there were no other uh, sellers. That was when there were people selling it all the way down to $9. Someone paid $10 extra because of the value I added. To start, we are going to need four main things. Windex or any cleaner. Basically, you want to be an easy cleaner, not something heavy duty. No acetone. Basically, nothing you can get high off of because those will have weird chemicals that will dissolve these paints and these inks and you'll have a blank face controller. And you don't want that. Second is a toothbrush. I got this one from my girlfriend. Don't tell her, no matter what. Third, an X-Acto knife. I have dozens of these. I don't know where the rest are. And fourth, a controller. A disgusting, greasy, grimy controller. This one isn't that bad, to be honest. Uh, I did a little preliminary wash off. I didn't want to be holding some disgusting uh, controller filled with dead skin and blood. But as you can see, it's got some garbage in it. It's, uh, it's pretty gross. What we're going to do to start with this is uh, just take the Windex, like so. I spray it on my table because, well, I don't know why. I guess you could do it on a plate. It doesn't really matter. I just use that as like my palette, like I'm a painter, like I'm Vincent Van Gogh. Ho! And uh, I just begin to caress, caress the crevices. Like any good relationship, you must begin to caress the crevices. Softly, gently, just get to know it. Don't be weird, just be kind. Uh, and you're removing the dust. You're gonna see, you're not gonna get this garbage in here out just yet. That's a that's a next step process. But we're just getting out the easy stuff, the things that, um you know, you could, uh, you don't want your finger to touch the things that are, uh, are tactile, right? Uh, they have a, a tactile tendency to them. The back writing is always difficult. I like to double dip right here. And really get down deep into it. Mmm, look at that. You can already see the uh, weird yellow tinge fading away. Fading away to, I don't know, wherever dirt goes when it dies. Once we've wiped off all of the, uh, the residue that was released with the toothbrush, then we can begin uh, step two. But first, you know, make sure it's all off. You don't want to have liquid dripping down there and maybe getting in the cracks. I've never had a controller short circuit because of doing this, but I'm sure it's possible. I'm sure someone in the comments will call me a freaking moron for using so much liquid near so many delicate electronics. But I live life on the edge. I'm a wild man. I clean controllers like I want to clean them. Step two. This is where it gets gross. We're gonna take our X-Acto knife and put it down here. And we're gonna drag it along. Whoops, with the sharp end first. You don't really have to have the sharp end first, I guess. It can be either. You see how it's kind of popping out of the crack? You see how gross that is? That is just years and years and years of dead skin caked on. Oh God, it's germs and Boogers. Oh, I don't like it. I should have worn gloves. 
And then we're going to, again, uh, wipe it off with our wash cloth that we have already spritzed with the Windex. Boy, oh boy, look how nice that looks. You can barely tell that some ungrateful 13-year-old misused this over two decades ago. Man, it looks brand spanking new, doesn't it? At least in the cracks it does. Step three is very similar to step two, except of, uh, on the cracks, we're going to be using these little uh, divots right here. Uh, and the edges uh, around the buttons and uh, D-pad, and the left and right buttons as well. Again, same thing, just taking our knife and outlining the edge, slowly but surely releasing the grime from its PlayStation depths. Very simple, very slow, don't take it too fast, especially right here, because if you leave some scratch marks on the edge, people might get mad. I don't know. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. I'm not a mind reader. I just clean controllers. And again, once the uh, grime has been kind of uh, eased out of its hiding spot, take the toothbrush. Easy does it. Easy does it right there. Washing it away, giving it a new home in the air or wherever it goes. I don't actually know. I guess probably it's going to go on the washcloth, right? Step four, toothbrush, this uh, nine pin cereal port, essentially the same thing, but you don't want to forget this. Uh, oftentimes, a lot of people will forget to clean this part of the controller. Not that it really matters in terms of playability, but if we're going to command a high price of premium like we want to, we're gonna wanna make sure that it looks nice. And finally, step five, we want to bag it. Boom, right here in one of these nice choking hazard bags that you have to use for Amazon FBA. You cannot use other bags because Amazon knows that if you do, the moron you sell it to is going to put it over their head and die. And that's it, folks. You grab it, you put it in here, you stuff it in like the filthy piece of garbage it is. Oh, it's too hard to do it by the camera because the camera has a wide angle lens so I gotta get up really close to it. But you get the gist of it, right? You just shove it in there and, and tape it down and there's too many wires here, but that isn't the point of it. The point of it is that we now have a clear controller, a clean controller in a clear bag ready to be sold for $15 hairs.